Hmm. Here we are. In C. Again. In C? Was it in C? Are you sure it was in C?
much, right? Not we, much. No. We when we recorded really. this version, you know, when we did the Behind the Barn one. Yeah. Was it? That's right. <laughs> it was Behind the Barn. Yeah. That <laughs> was, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. we didn't play it much as a trio. Christmas '94, we recorded that. Right. Was '94? I don't know. It was Christmas. I think it was around Christmas because that, but that we recorded the album for the for the Jeff show. For the Jeff show, which was in '95. So mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, it could be. Early '95. Early '95. Yeah. Uh, recorded these I think there's like 16 or 17 songs yeah. one of my favorite songs is on that album that's, we were playing it the other day the, yeah, the Good Night Umbre yeah exactly yeah. Yeah. Oh. and Ashton just passed not long ago huh? mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I know I remember the times when we went to Ireland <laughs> <laughs> playing all the pubs remember the time changes. we went with Kurt when we were there I had to share the room with him oh, right. and he swore that he saw a ghost in the night <laughs> he swore you know he said the door opened yeah, yeah, I think that, that house is actually the cool thing house. Oh, yeah, it was definitely cool. I once, I once saw that ghost, actually, and it, and it looked exactly like Kurt. <laughs> <laughs> actually, exactly like Kurt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but there was this, this spot on the floor in Kurt's bedroom that he cleaned up every day, and then the night it was back, right? <laughs> what was that? Hey, let me put this... Uh, Yes, I just remembered the song that we used to do. Uh, you know, but the first time I heard this was when Sharon and Steve and Jim Klopfenstein played this. This, one? this. This is I don't. It's a really obscure little thing. It's called Ashes of Love. You remember ah, that? Jesse, of course. Yeah, but the first time I heard it was this. this here. I don't know. Yeah, that's good. Ash, the, the C, the C would be probably good. You got the C badge. No, 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 it's just too good. that shines in your eyes has gone out to my surprise we said goodbye now my heart bled love you then i love you yeah ashes of love cold as ice you made the dead and i paid a price our love is gone there's no trusted in you our love would stand your every wish was my command heart tells me i must forget i love you then and i love you yet ashes of love cold as ice you made the dead and i paid the price our love is gone Flames burned out. So 
Oh, oh, wow. I, even, I, I never, I never you? sang that one with you, but <laughs> I always thought it was, you made the bed and I paid the price. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, ooh. Ooh. No, yes, I, well, I, how would I know? How would you know? How I, would, I just just now found out is you made the debt and yes, I paid the yes, price. Exactly. Well, yeah. the debt and I paid the price. <laughs> we, we used to sing different words to it, too, especially oh. Dennis, remember? Like, <laughs> yes, don't go there. No. <laughs> <laughs> What was it? Ha- the hash- hashish of love. Hashish of love. <laughs> oh, Dennis. Dennis, yeah. Dennis. Dennis. Uh, that was a fun song. Hey, start, start I think we should start the show, right? You yep. know, if, even though we miss Joel, I'm looking forward to play this. No, I'm not Joel. <laughs> even though I miss Jody, I'm looking forward to playing this show. Okay, really well, good. that's, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, uh, that's kind of Freudian right there, isn't it? Are we good? <laughs> no, Joel, that I, wasn't. Coming to you from beautiful Wilkes County in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains in North Carolina, we invite you to the musical world of the Kruger Brothers. Sit back, relax, and welcome to the show with your hosts, the Kruger Brothers. Hey. Hello, everybody. Here we are again, Saturday night. I'm I'm so, so happy that you're here with us. Uh, one more time, we have uh, Joel here uh-huh. uh, at the table. Yes, at the table again. Once again. Once again, you look great, yes. Joel. Thanks, Jens. Yeah, since yesterday, you haven't suffered that much. Well, I tried not <laughs> to. Well, it's, it's you know, good. It's, it's, it's a rough. Yeah, you guys beat me up yesterday, some. You know, it's, I know, I know. It's I know. gotten hot today, <laughs> so you know. Yeah, that's what we do. No, that's no, what no, you do. No, we still we still had the theme, you know, with uh, uh, Joel, how everything started, and we had, of course, you know, when we when we started playing this this kind of music. Uh, we played German folk music before that and sang, you know, German folk songs, and then we got into folk, folk music, and all kinds of things. But and that th- was way before we met Joel. Yes. That was way before <laughs> we met Joel. So when we met Joel, you know, we started singing some of the old songs again that we used to sing, you know, when we when we played this music, and we, you know, one of the most influential albums of all time, of course, was J.D. Crone, The New South, you know, from the 1973 mm. recording, and mm. they did, you know, with um, with Tony Rice and uh, and the Ricky Skaggs and everybody, Jerry Douglas, I think, it was the A Team. Just the yeah. A team really yeah. playing, you know, and there was one tune, you know, that everybody covered, and of course we did to the old home place, you know. But oh. um, you really want me to do that? Yes, uh, you know, I think <laughs> while we're here, uh, oh, wow. but I, I don't play like Tony Rice. <laughs> I don't play like J.D. Cole, and I can't sing like like well, you know, so what? You know, don't cover us. Oh yeah. boy! Yeah, right. Here we go again. <laughs> Already? Yeah. Let's go. The, Wait a second. I got the reverb. The reverberation. Ah, now. <laughs> Done to the 
your old place Why did they tear it down? And why did I leave the plow in the field And look for a job in the town? Yeah, that was a long time ago when we did that. Yes, and when we uh, we heard uh, Chad Atkins you know, on an album, Reflections with Doc Watson, they played the Black Mountain Rag, and, <laughs> and they did it in different keys, didn't yes. they? Yeah, and they're the old, old home place now. You, know, you, you, you remember when we heard that one? Who was the original band that did old home place? What, wasn't that the Dillards or somebody like that? I don't know. But when we played at the old, you know, Bluegrass Festival of the Ozarks once, the guy the that wrote it, Ozarks, yeah, he showed, up. he showed up and they played ah, that yes. song. Yeah, that was that was amazing. But it was a waltz, wasn't it? Original. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> There's ten long years since I left my home in a harbor where I was born. Cool. No, 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 I don't. Think it wasn't the warts? <laughs> no, no, it I wasn't the warts. It, was it wasn't the warts. It was a joke. <laughs> anyway. Um, you remember the reflection sound? Was, oh. that, was that Black Mountain Rack on there, wasn't it? Yeah, but they did a really. Uh, uh, I think Jim Atkins had a very different, you know, key. Yeah, he played it. A, and Doc, I think Doc played it, but they didn't play it that fast either. They did a nice, nice, uh, yes. moderate <laughs> version of this. Yes, but we thought, you know, the key changes, they were uh, kind of cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. So we said, cool. why don't we do that too? You know, a little bit of that. But anyway. <laughs> Let's try to play it a little bit like this. Yeah, it's gonna be a uh, oh, come on, Uwe, you know? awkward. Oh, now, <laughs> no, come, on. come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No worries, oh, no worries. It's all good. It's all good. Thank you. 
Like that was to very work. close to our was, original version, yes. <laughs> the original, the original <laughs> version. <laughs> yeah, something like and that. My, uh, my original uh, sloppiness. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, it's all fine. Hey, um, wow. Yes. Wow. Yes, that's right. Wow. <laughs> you know, Black Mountain Rack. You remember when we opened for Doc at Grey Fox? Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. That's a you great know, story. And, and, and we, we, you know, we spent a whole afternoon... In the in the trailer with him and you know behind the stage and everything yeah, and, interesting trailer. and and he showed he yeah. showed you a couple of tunings and yeah. and then <laughs> and then fun. before he went on I said Doc are you going to do the Black Mountain Rag and he said no I played this long enough oh, go ahead yeah, you go ahead and, and so we did it in the encore you know and then yeah. people were just going ha ah, and, 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 <laughs> and then and then Doc comes on. And of course, what does he open with? The first song? Yeah, yeah. The Black Mountain Rag. <laughs> That's what we quit doing it. Yeah, <laughs> More or less. More wild, at least. <laughs> <laughs> well, we played it with him several times. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, the, the, next, the next little tune we're going we're gonna to do is uh, a tune called uh, Miriam. Oh, um, no. There's one before that. No, it's the one before that? Yes, oh, there's, there's one, one before that. Yes, one. What yes. is it? Yes, yeah. it's, so it's Take the Same One. Oh. Uh, our, our good friend, you know, Kaspar Kundert, you know, he had... I remember Kaspar. He had a, a record collection. Ray was brother. Yeah. Yes, Ray was brother. And, you know, we were invited this, at his home, uh, and he had Flatten Scruggs live at Carnegie Hall. Oh, yeah. We didn't know that album. Ooh. And, uh, and I heard Frizzle Special for the first time uh, mm-hmm. at his house, you know, up in his, you know. And I think I was 13 or 14 or something. Maybe like something like no, that. You know, yeah, I was 13. I heard, fr- fr- I thought, how in the world is he doing that? And, mm-hmm. and this, the atmosphere on, on that album just priced us. And then they had a song on it, uh, Take This Hammer. Mm-hmm. I, I don't think in what key. He, he started off like. Something like I can't that. Remember. But I, I just thought it sounded a little different. I haven't, I haven't listened to this in a long time. Yeah, that's okay. Because okay. usually when we do Take This Hammer, we do it, mm-hmm. you know, this, we, we do this version that uh, that's the Ray Work song. Ah, as you know, the, this yeah. is. Uh, take, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Working on right, yeah. yeah. Okay. But this, but, uh, this is like a little bit more. You want to do it in the key of E, right? Yes, E. For all of you you're picking do that on. intro? No, 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 no. <laughs> One, two.
If he asked you, was I wrong? If he asked you, if I was running? If he asked you, if I was running? So look at me, <laughs> just look at me. <laughs> Take this hammer, carry to the captain. Take this hammer, carry to the captain. Take this hammer, carry to the captain. Tell him I'm gone. Just tell him I'm gone. I'm on the job. I mean, how can I sing? Just tell them I was flying. You know? Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, like, I'm like a dodo when it comes to running. You know? oh, it was so funny. When we, when we first came to Wilkes County, we used to go down to the farmer's market. And oh, that's a show. Days, yeah. And that was a show. And I had long hair. Yes. And we went down there with Robert uh, Shepard. And there was an old time band. Fred was playing, you know, yeah, he was on yes, fiddle, you know, yeah, for sure. Uh, Fred, Fred, what are we doing next? Miriam. Yeah, okay. But but Fred was down there, and Fred is an old time fiddler. Yeah, well, yeah. And I played claw hammer banjo, you know, with him, and he looked at me and said, So, you're not local, are you? What gave it away? You know? <laughs> and I said, No, no, I'm from Switzerland. Oh, and he said, Oh, little, oh, little Switzerland yeah, yeah. over here in North Carolina. No. And Robert turned to him, no, he's from Switzerland over the pond, you know, <laughs> on the other side. Of and he said, whoa. And then he looked at, he looked at me and said, I didn't know Yunes, you know. Yeah, Yunes. He said, I didn't know Yunes had the same music over there as we have here. <laughs> he couldn't imagine that anybody would like the music somewhere else and learn it and then come here and play it. <laughs> that was... So we started telling people that Bill Monroe came over in the 20s, came to Switzerland for a vacation. Yes, and he learned the music And he, he stole the music from us. Yes, and actually that was true. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> and here's an old forgotten Bill Monroe to you called Bit Miriam. <laughs> no, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is uh, you know, I wrote this for, for my, for my firstborn daughter, Miriam. Uh, that's her name. And, uh, Actually, it was one of the first tunes ever in my life. I dreamt the entire tune and I got up in the middle of the night and just was able to play it. And uh, a lot of different kind of music came out of this uh, dream, I believe. And so, um, here's a little clip piece. Guys. Uwe, Uwe has a different guitar. The tune's a whole step down. I think it sounds beautiful. It's one Martini. Um, 
yeah. Yes, it's just you know, I, it, it I just is still it is still one of my favorite tunes, Jens. Yeah, that, really? you know, because yes, like I said at the rehearsal on Thursday, I could do a whole show just playing this tune. Just playing these, yeah, really. Sorry. We it's may do a, that one of these days. We mm -hmm. have to plan that out. Yeah. Play just the, a, the show. No, no. <laughs> There's this little, there's this little part, you know, that's actually a child, a, a melody. It's like, uh, until there, it's yeah. actually a child, a, a children's song. Well, that, that our, 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 uh, our, our dad always said. That was the original. And that, yeah. Keep this in mind. This <laughs> well, it sounds great, yeah. You gotta find another song to play in that key on that guitar. Let's, let's, do, a, let's oh, do another one. What do we have in the program? Uh, another one we did way back when for our early songs. Hey, Joe, so. when did you start playing these basses over Rebecca? Uh, let's see. It was, I think, the second or third time we were at the NAMM show when we were there. So that was right around 2001. Two. No, it was a little after that. It was like 2006, 2007. Yeah. Ah, you were that late? Well, because I went with Deering, you know, since 2000. What, 2000. Well, 
Okay, now maybe it was early. It was before we moved here, so. Yes. No, it wasn't before we moved here. I think it was right around, when, it might have been 2003, 2004. Mm -hmm. I'd have to look them back. I, this is the second one that I got. I the know, first one was the four string. Yeah. And I loved it so much that I went to him and I said, listen, Tom, I mean, you know, this is probably one yeah. of the, the finest bass, acoustic bass guitars on the planet. Could you make me a five string? And he said, well, we hadn't done it yet, but we were sure. Yeah. And he did. So, so you got and that. Yeah, I've played this bass ever since. You know? Yeah, I remember I have you played, played it in Yatkinville the first evening. You remember? Yeah. You did the fundraiser for the Yatkinville Arts Council? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that was the first time you yeah. ever played it. Our friend John Willingham. Did. Hey, the next song, what is it? Well, the, the first time I heard this bass played was uh, was by... Um, Bobby Vega. Bobby Vega. Yes, you know? well, this I is just, the yeah, Bobby yeah, Vega yeah. model Actually, I just bass. recorded a tune with Bobby Vega. Oh, oh, and which is Did you ever hear that? No, I haven't oh, heard the tune. Joel, you got to hear this thing. Me. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Anyway. Um, but uh, so we're going to do... Um, what does the deep what sea does say? What does the deep sea say? Are we going to do it? Yes. Yes, why not? Doc Watson, you know, he's a... Uh, singing the song and it's beautiful yeah. this is one of those things that we did as a trio right yes, yes. i think you're, you you sound great on it let's see if we can get the words all together yeah of course you can it's always and a challenge but Uwe, uh, come on now you know but the, but <laughs> the way the doc sang this was so heartfelt and so uh so genuine it really yeah. it was uh, Uwe, you, gotta do a, the, you do the intro right i think i'm gonna try it yes <laughs> I stand on the beach alone And I gaze at the misty blue See as you hold him to your breast Does he mention my name to you? Where is my sailor boy? Where is my sailor boy? The deep sea say it moans, it groans, it splashes and it foams as it rolls along its weary way. From the north are blowing icy cold. Can you keep him warm for me? And if only my weary soul some token of love could find, and if only the waves would show me where he sleeps, I'd leave this world behind. What does the What does the deep sea say? It moans, it groans, it splashes and it foams as it goes along its weary way. Again. 
What does the deep sea say? What does the deep sea say? It moans, it groans, it splashes and it folds as it rolls along its weary way. It moans, it groans, it splashes and it folds as it rolls along its weary way. As it rolls along its weary way. Song. We used to play that all the time. We mm. did. We played that a lot at the, at the early days. <laughs> the early Merle Fest. The early Merle Fest days. Yeah, we probably played it at the first Merle Fest when we were here. Yes. And we, we, we played the first Merle Fest. We're all dressed up in suits. Oh, jackets, yes. You know, suits and, and ties. And and no, well, you were tied. Yeah. But, but I had a tie. Yeah. I had a tie. Yeah, yeah. And I played my, my, my blue Yamaha five string bass. Yes. What kind of guitar did you have when you came? I had my um, my Martin from the custom shop, the Brazilian M38 that I had, uh, yeah. and that guitar sounded great plugged in, but it really died of every jam session I got <laughs> into. <laughs> it was just you know, and uh, and then right after that I got um, I got Mia Collins first thing, you know. Uh, yeah. Well, there's um, we we played quite a few Ireland tours, you know, and we had. Um, yeah, which one before? Oh, that? it's not that yet. I, I, <laughs> we still got to sing one. I have, have to, to. I have to start wearing my glasses I, when we I do these I'm, shows. So, <laughs> I already changed. Do <laughs> <laughs> we have time for it? I oh think, yeah. yeah, we have plenty of time. Yeah, this one is we used to this we used to do on the streets used. actually. Already, oh, okay, you know? that, that predates me. <laughs> Yes. The only time I ever played on the streets with you guys is when we went back last time. Yeah, we went to the, you know, for the, uh, the, the, for the TV documentary, yes. yeah, and yes. I got to play on the streets with you guys. Was that fun? Yeah, that was great. <laughs> Ted Singh played my bass. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> but this, uh, I, 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 re I remember this song was on a, on a, what was it, Bluegrass 87? The Bill Monroe. Yeah, but we learned it from a way but, older recording. But that recording on there was actually for me it was a favorite recording ever of this song. Yeah, later, you know, you know when Jim and Jesse was on yeah, that yeah, thing, yeah. and two fiddlers. It was, really nice. it was just amazing, and it was digital to record it. You know, it was so holographic. Like Williams, the way it's, 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 like yes, it's so good. It was an amazing recording, sound, yeah. and it wasn't as fast as Bill had done it back in the fifties. You know, from that the, Bill, Monroe, the, yeah. Bill Monroe, Bill Monroe, the way he had done it uh, in in in. Uh, yeah. It was on the high lonesome sound of Bill Monroe, I think, on that, on that you know, so... Yeah, one of these albums. Yeah, let's, let's, let's see if we can still do this thing somehow a little okay. bit. One, two... Archie is gone. Road is rough and filled with gravel. I must journey on and on. Me, she was just a little angel sent down to me from God above. It was on the day when I first met her that I told her of my love. It's mighty dark for me to travel for my sweet. Archie is gone Road is rough And filled with gravel I must journey On and on Our 
but she is gone. Road is rough and filled with gravel. I must journey on long. Road is rough and filled with gravel. I must journey on long. Ran out of steam. Well, was whatever. <laughs> like, a, like a deflated balloon. <laughs> but Joel, this is so much fun. You know, just sitting here at the table again. First time in over a year I see yeah. you without a mask. Well, it's, you know, CDC finally said it's okay. Yep. Yeah. You know, so that's. You, you, you haven't changed much, Joel. Mm-hmm. What? Really, mm-hmm. I mean, seriously, I mean, you said you look very different. You know, once when I well, was that's on the a, well, I've let my beard grow for a while. I kind of looked like Grizzly Adams for a while, but uh, mm-hmm. you did. Yeah. Well, we never, we, <laughs> we, we could have never. You known. never would have known. You never, never <laughs> know. Never know. Never know. Never <laughs> know. <laughs> so we did, we did the funniest Ireland tours. But trust me, I mean, this, <laughs> oh, the gosh. Ireland tours we did. Oh Lord. I mean, really, only. Crazy people do that, or, or, or I, uh, Irish people, or uh, you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> but you know, we played, we played these, you know, first few tours. You know, we did with Aachen. You know, he organized a few things that we could play pubs and and yeah. stuff. And then we had a, a promoter that worked with us, and Burr. Uh, and we we would go to these places, and we had to turn gravestones around to get to the key to get into the I church. I remember, remember that, that, yes, the old church. And he wasn't there yet, so we had yeah. to actually lift up an old gravestone, uh, a gravestone to get the big beard key and go in there it was ice cold we set up and then yeah. there was a lot of people and we went to the pub and we played all night literally you know and they would give us all these drinks and it was so much fun I mean, but it's one of the <laughs> things that stuck most to my mind was when the next morning after we left there and went up to the three mile bridge we went and stopped at a at a restaurant that was open and it was just lunchtime and we were sitting there and we had our food ordered and some, they had Mexican week or something, and somebody had ordered fajitas. Uh, and, yes. <laughs> and some, somehow, some, somebody, somebody, somebody had ordered those fajitas. <laughs> and those? and the, 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 the mocajete or whatever no, no, they ordered. No, no, it was, yeah. it was a, ma- ma- a fajita. Yeah. You know, just, the door was swinging. The door was open, open. Yeah. And, and it, there was only a few people in the restaurant. There was a little old couple sitting at the table. <laughs> yeah. One of them, very adventurous, ordering Mexican food. And so the chef, he came running out with this... Oh, it's a huge, a huge steel pan. But when the pan. doors opened, the smoke that and came out of the kitchen was like it was a dragon. <laughs> in <that> kitchen, <laughs> like, and he Whoa! was running on the table, and he put it on the table, and he ran away. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this little couple, you know, looking at this thing, just you know, trying to get as far away as they could, you know. The and whole place <laughs> full of smoke. The whole by the place t- full of smoke. Oh. That was a place prior to smoke detectors. You know, yeah. Otherwise, <laughs> you would have had to evacuate. It was so it was priceless. Funny. Yeah. Yeah. I know it was that same tour where we went. And, you know, into this restaurant late at night with, you know, and then there was an old man. He's like, where are you from? And he said, well, we're from, we live in the United States. Ah, I was there uh, in a pub. In a pub. Yes, a great, pub, food, great pub. Great, great food, pub. apple something. Apple. Yeah. And then he said, oh, apple means, yeah, great, nice yeah. pub, great <laughs> food. <laughs> and I never thought of this as a pub. Yes. So, uh, <laughs> Your friend anyway, and they didn't have, we destroyed a few cars in Ireland. Well, well, well the, the thing about the Irish <laughs> Irish roads that we traveled and the places well, that we the played was, when we were you know, there they, they were just the one lane roads, most of them, or one and a half lane roads, let's put it that way, and we went there with a real... Or half lane roads. And, and, and every, everything was overgrown, and all the, the signs were in, either in Gaelic or you couldn't or read them. And so and there was, yeah, and there was, was also, was at the time, GPS. no GPS, yeah, no just, GPS. just, a, just you, a you, you have this map, <laughs> and it's, it's almost like a one-to-one map, you know, it's a, it's a huge map. Map and just, yeah, and so I was driving and he was sitting yeah. the wrong and they, and they shot them like this. Yeah, so we it. ended up, when we, when we went somewhere, we ended up turning around all the time. All the time. All the time. Yes. All the time. Yes. And, and yeah, just, so, pretty much all the time, yes. So when, when it came down to, to name this little tune here that, that we put together, <laughs> and we, 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 yeah, well. in, in Swiss German we say, Gere yeah. Rum. Yeah. Which is you know Which let's turn to, around. Turn around. Yeah, so let's turn around. Yeah. So, yeah. Let's turn around. Yeah. And so we we just gave it an Irish twist and we call it Kerimarum. 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 We have a we have a, a arrangement for symf- symphony orchestra. Yes. Oh yeah, with the with the with the timpanis and we're gonna, everything. We're yeah. gonna do this with the with the North Carolina Symphony one of these days. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, wanna try it? Let's try it. We haven't played it in so long. Since Thursday. <laughs> The button, Max. Max hit the button. the button. It was so funny. I just watched this, you know, this art, this this banjo band. It's like banjo three or something. Yep. Had a banjo podcast. Three, whatever, yeah. <laughs> a podcast. And it was so funny. The guy who played banjo, one of these guys, he was carrying on and carrying on how easy it is to play five string banjo and how hard it is to play a tenor. And I thought <laughs> I should have just played tenor, you know, because nobody ever told me it was that easy. Folks, you know? folks, it was a uh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful weekend to have Joel up here again, and and I hope I hope that you uh, find the time to watch us again. Uh, tomorrow we're going to have the cook show thank you so much for for watching and and um, and for being with us and, and keeping us alive here you know we yes. we have our first shows now coming up and we have a few small ones that you know we we, we go out and uh, in, in june and uh, we got to do the things in in, in wilkesboro again you, we, we got to do those four weekends in, in june and july but our first uh, uh, paying shows will be September and October, and so 
we have to get through all this, right? And and, and this is this this is what we do, right? Yes. We ha- we're probably gonna have Jody on next week again. Well, of course, we're gonna have we, Jody of on course, next week, know. and we uh, we're gonna grill him a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have much time Good. left. Well, no, no. Uh, you wanna do this? I don't know. Maybe, maybe we just we should just just end with something that we haven't scheduled. No, I think we should just just play it. I think. Uh, are you, what do you think, Melissa? Yeah, we just not enough, yeah. not enough. Yeah, but you know, we, we we could just play a little bit of that one song when Joel really when when he lost it when he stood in front of the stage and he saw us play with Krista and Bayard. Oh, theme. you okay. know, Krista. just a little, just a little. Do you remember that? <laughs> from Double Time Recording Studio in Wilkes County, North Carolina. Thank you for watching and all your continued support. Please make sure and comment on how much you enjoyed the show and share it with your friends. Join us next time for another edition of The Musical World of the Kruger Brothers.